Hey, Don Beck. Okay, so I went back in my Sardu and I went ahead and booted up Fedora Live Security. Pretty, I think this is uh, Fedora 23. Might be 22. And I opened up. Let me look. Let's just check that part out. System. I don't see it. There's so much in this. It's a little harder to find things. It's looking. I I, for, I was realized that hey, maybe the main reason I didn't find. I I think all along I said there wasn't any. Uh, kept looking in system is where you'd normally look in uh, mate, but. It, you have to go to settings administration to get to yum extender in uh, <coughs> in F xfce so uh, to get to the, some of these things they're not uh, they're in both places in mate a lot of them are anyway it's looking for that uh, system app I think it doesn't have anything but maybe H top or whatever Anyway, it's not that important. This is Fedora 22, 23 something. It, might, it probably tells me, oh, there it is. <laughs> and the Yum Extender already had it open up and already searched for Clam, uh, Clam AV, C L A M A V, and uh, I can't get my phone back any further the way I've got it set up now. But um, anyway, I clicked on Clam T K because I thought, well, let's try installing that instead of K L A M A V because it keeps failing in Fedora. Thought if I can, and I think I'll just click on Clam TK and see if it brings in. <coughs> Let me go ahead and redo this. Maybe I can get back a little further, just enough to make it work. Oh, sorry, what a mess. Okay, yeah, now I think it's the whole screen, except for I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, now let's see. It'll tell you what it needs to install. Okay, now it gives a whole, yeah, it's going to go ahead, let's see, it's going to go ahead and uh, do all the Clam AV files, everything it needs. So maybe this will work. I'll make it back to the smaller. Okay, so if this works, uh, maybe it was something to do with the KDE stuff that was uh, hanging it up, is what I was thinking. Of course, I didn't see it running in Fleet Test, so, you know, the Clam TK GUI wasn't working. I am really interested to see if it will work. And usually, Fedora is a little better at uh, working right off the bat than some of these other di remixes and stuff. Anyway, or these other distros. Uh, I don't think that's a re. I I'm kind of thinking that maybe that Sleetez is a not a remix of anything, but it's a distro all on its own. It could be based on the Bane, but I can't remember now. It's been a long time since I discovered it. But uh, this is a uh, Fedora 23 uh, x86-64 is what I'm running on here, and this is the live uh, um, security remix or spin. They call it spins in Fedora. <coughs> the ones that are sorry, the ones that are uh, sanctioned by Fedora. Now, see, all those ones in red need to be updated. And you'd probably have to do that before you could do, seriously do a scan. But let's uh, let's go over to another desktop and try opening it up first. See if it looks like it would even run. Yeah, it went into accessories again. So, ah, oh, whole different interface now. So you get you get more stuff with. Um, Updates are available. You get sometimes more in your GUI and Mate, or I mean in Fedora, than you do in some of these other remixes. This is XFCE, not Mate, so sometimes you get more in Mate than you do with an XFCE. But see, this is not a. It's not like KDE apps that are kind of built around on KDE. These are, I think it's a GTK. There's a few different graphic user application building back back uh, ends GTK QT they're used a lot <coughs> this is a GTK I think so settings whitelist network update Let's see if that'll update first yep looks like it maybe we'll try to do it that says updates are available you're configured to automatically Receive updates, okay. 
that's just a note down there you can't click on that okay so maybe you have to uh, I'm gonna go into the settings scan for PUAs password recovery tools detect packed binaries password recovery tools and more hmm Yes, you always want to things that start with a dot. Large files. Recursively, always. Now, password recovery tools could be bad. You just have to decide whether they're bad ones you want to use or not, you know. Now, how do I get back? Okay, back. Whitelist network. Network. No proxy. Okay. Let's just go up here and see that we... S I'd always kind of take it for granted with Fedora, but we've got our IP address and everything. <coughs> Let me go in here and just open up a web browser before I try anything else. I might have to run. Well, I'm really getting off on my screen here. Yeah. So we're online just fine. I can hear that noise in the speakers. I don't know what it is about Fedora that wants to give my speakers trouble. Okay, so uh, I'm going to hit scan a directory and pick some small directory. But over here, oh, and I didn't mention, <coughs> see all these mounted, uh, these mounted folders over here? Or they may not be mounted right now. I may have to click on them to mount them, but... Uh, I think even if you try to go into them from here, like 250 gigabyte volume, that's my see it automatically mounted it. So that's my Windows system. Now I could just do the whole thing, but I'm going to go into Users, Dawn, Downloads, because that's where I would have some things. Actually, there's probably a, there's a lot more files in this than I'm thinking because I have all my. I was wanting something with not a lot of files. It's getting ready to scan it, but. Uh, you know, ideal. I mean, really, you'd want to scan the whole system. But uh, <coughs> let me get. <coughs> Sorry, I had to get. The I wanted to get the phone away from my mouth and face, and I could cough and stuff. Okay, so, um, file scanned. Zero, but it takes a while. There it goes. It gets going. And, uh, it's working away. So there you go. There's my way to scan. <coughs> There's my way to scan things from Fedora that I th thought might not work. <coughs> I just hadn't realized I needed to try another GUI instead of Clam A B. K L M A B. I need to try at least that's one virus scanner. I want a whole bunch, but that's a good start. Because Clam A B is a good good virus scanner. Just that you gotta be more uh, involved and knowledgeable about what to do with the results. <coughs> of course if you just trying to clean up a Windows system, that's when you're scanning Linux you really got to pay attention you can break your system and get and, and there's a lot of things that you aren't going to be bad and it's just showing possible it shows possible problems especially when you click that thing I clicked you know now there's a lot of Linux tools for doing just what it gave you that uh, it's not a pup what was it password uh, rescuing apps password changing apps is what it is there's several of those you might have on your system now if you, uh, but there, you know, you could have that on a Windows system, and uh, it could be uh, a Trojan or something, you know. Or, or if there's a password changing, that'd really be something. That'd be more on the lines of that uh, encryption. Well, it's not; it wouldn't encrypt anyway. I'm not gonna I'm going in circles, but uh, <coughs> it's possible threats 19 already. Okay, now this has got me interested. And maybe just going ahead and scanning this whole system. And even more interested, and maybe uh, I might just start with this or some 
fedora. It'd be good. I mean, uh, live security might, might as well start with that, right? It's got every kind of security app and penetration testing and everything you can imagine. A lot of stuff that I don't know how to use, really, because it's all this command line stuff. So I might would just start with a more basic system, not so much to <coughs> look through in the menus. <coughs> I'll get back here and see if I can kind of show what I'm talking about. Whoops. It's much harder to be steady with the tripod. Uh, it goes over which way on me. Okay, but see, it has a whole lot more apps. Let me get this in some other way because I'm just not doing any good at all. <coughs> I just don't know what to do. When I have it on uh, resting on my body, I keep moving it around by accident. That's what I was doing. I was kind of resting it on my self. Okay, now. That's in a place that's going to make my arm tired really quick. Oh. Well, I've never tried this before. Sorry. Um. <coughs> I guess the, the way I had it was probably better than any other way I've tried it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so. If I breathe deep or anything, it just throws it around. Okay, so. Yeah, I can't help it. Okay, so that ain't working. This turned into a real pain, didn't it? Probably more of an angle, but <coughs> and it's even worse. Let's stop the video. This is ridiculous.